Hello and a big welcome to St Albans. Today we'll be exploring all of the delights that this beautiful Hertfordshire hotspot has to offer and we cannot wait to get started. My name's Jamie Newton Love and this is another Ashton's Area Guide. St Albans is one of the oldest towns in Hertfordshire and combining a rich history with exceptional transport links to London, outstanding schools, and a thriving restaurant and pub scene, it really is little wonder that St Albans is so popular to all generations. In fact, its high achieving schools, leafy streets, expansive property market, and proximity to both the capital and beautiful countryside sees this affluent market town ranked highly amongst the top places to live in the UK. The pub gets its name, unsurprisingly, from the cockfighting that took place in the main bar in the late 19th century. And with a long history, we bet ye old fighting cocks could tell a story or two. St Albans is home to one of the oldest pubs in England. The octagonal pub you can see behind me dates back to the 8th century and still has tunnels from the beer cellar up to the cathedral, which was allegedly used by some thirsty monks. Right in the heart of the city centre is this glorious 100-acre Verulamium Park with its lakes, open green spaces, historic ruins, children's playgrounds, cafe and more. The park is an oasis for nature, bird watching, ice creams and an all year round attraction. St Albans enjoys a lively arts and entertainment scene. The Abbey Theatre hosts a diverse range of performances, whilst the Auburn Arena hosts comics, live music acts, the annual panto and much more. The Odyssey, an art deco cinema, offers a good range of art house and blockbuster fare in plush, theatre-like setting and is definitely worth a visit. Tourists flock to see the city's famous abbey, which dates back to 1077 and is home to Britain's first saint, St Alban. 
Surrounded by parkland and just a stone's throw from the city centre, the cathedral is home to the shrine of St Alban, the longest nave in England, stunning medieval wall paintings and architecture that spans a millennia. St Albans is rich in history and dates back to Roman times. In fact, its name comes from a Roman soldier and Britain's first ever saint called Alban. Large parts of the original city wall can still be found today in Verulamian Park. With its restaurants and cafes, cocktail and wine bars, the dining and cultural scene is thriving. St Albans residents truly are spoiled for choice when it comes to eating out. St Albans is a historic market town and city. We're here on St Peter's Street where the twice weekly market meets on Wednesdays and Saturdays. But the shopping vibe doesn't stop there with St Albans offering everything from upmarket, high street to boutique. There are two shopping centres just off the main drag. It's a shopper's paradise. Albans was voted the best London commuter town in 2019 and it's hard not to see why. St Albans is home to not one but two railway stations. Jump on the direct service to London from St Albans City and you can find yourself at St Pancras in just 18 minutes. Gatwick Airport in just over an hour. Alternatively, take the train seamlessly through to Brighton and enjoy a day at the seaside.
Fantastic state schools are one of St Albans' main draws and there are plenty of popular primary and secondary schools to choose from in the area. In fact, the town is home to some of the most highly sought after schools in the southeast. So there you have it. We think St Albans really does have it all. There's not much London can offer that you can't find here in St Albans, all just with a little bit more room to breathe. My name's Jamie Newsom-Love and this has been another Ashton's Area Guide. Where do you think we should go next?